Hello, gals and guys. Welcome back to The Big Sweep, where we help you find solutions to almost all of your laundry stain problems. I'm Kelly, and today we're going to help you with how to remove almost any kind of stain out of your clothes. Whether it's coffee spills, grease marks, or ink smudges, stains can be a real hassle. Not to worry, though. I'm here to share some tried and tested methods to remove almost any kind of stain from your clothes. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Big Sweep. And ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. All right, let's jump right in. First up, let's get rid of those pesky coffee stains. Whether you're a coffee connoisseur or just a bit clumsy in the morning, coffee stains are a common sight on clothes. To remove them, simply blot the stain with a mixture of dish soap and water, then wash as usual. When dealing with coffee stains, it's crucial to act fast. The longer the stain sits, the harder it becomes to remove. Start by blotting the stain with a clean cloth or paper towel to soak up as much of the liquid as possible. Avoid rubbing the stain, as this can cause it to spread and become more difficult to remove. Once you've blotted the stain, it's time to apply your stain removing solution. Mix a small amount of dish soap with water to create a soapy solution. Dip a clean cloth or sponge into the solution and gently dab it onto the stain, working from the outside in. Continue dabbing until the stain begins to lift. After treating the stain with the soapy solution, rinse the garment under cold water to remove any remaining soap residue. If the stain persists, you can repeat the process or try using a commercial stain remover. Just be sure to follow the instructions on the product label and test it on a small, inconspicuous area of the garment first. Next, let's talk about grease stains. Whether it's from cooking or accidental spills, grease stains can be stubborn. But fear not, because a sprinkle of baking soda followed by a dab of dish soap can work wonders. Just let it sit for a few minutes before washing. Grease stains are notorious for clinging to fabrics and resisting traditional washing methods. However, with a bit of patience and the right approach, you can banish them for good. Begin by blotting the stain with a clean cloth to absorb as much grease as possible. Avoid rubbing the stain, as this can push the grease deeper into the fabric fibers. Once you've blotted away excess grease, it's time to tackle the stain with your homemade cleaning solution. Sprinkle a generous amount of baking soda directly onto the stain, making sure to cover it completely. Then, add a small amount of dish soap directly onto the baking soda. Using a soft bristled brush or your fingers, Gently work the baking soda and dish soap into the stain, focusing on the areas with the most grease buildup. Allow the mixture to sit on the stain for at least 15 minutes to penetrate the fabric and break down the grease. After the allotted time has passed, rinse the garment under cold water to remove the baking soda and dish soap mixture. If the stain persists, you can repeat the process or try using a commercial grease-fighting laundry detergent. Just be sure to follow the instructions on the product label and test it on a small, inconspicuous area of the garment first. And now, on to ink stains. Whether it's from a leaky pen or a mishap at work, ink stains can be a nightmare. But don't worry, because rubbing alcohol or hairspray can be your saviors. Simply dab the stain with a cotton ball soaked in alcohol or spray it with hairspray, then blot away until the stain disappears. Ink stains are notorious for spreading quickly and penetrating deep into fabrics. Therefore, it's essential to act fast and avoid allowing the ink to dry. Start by blotting the stain with a clean cloth or paper towel to absorb as much of the ink as possible. Once you've blotted away excess ink, it's time to treat the stain with your chosen stain-removing solution. If you're using rubbing alcohol, soak a cotton ball or pad in the alcohol and gently dab it onto the stain, working from the outside in. Continue dabbing until the ink begins to lift. If you don't have rubbing alcohol or hairspray, you can use hand sanitizer instead. It has a high concentration of alcohol, so it will work almost as well. If you're using hairspray, simply spray a small amount directly onto the ink stain until it's saturated. Then, blot the stain with a clean cloth or paper towel to absorb the ink. Repeat the process as needed until the stain disappears. After treating the stain with rubbing alcohol or hairspray, Rinse the garment under cold water to remove any remaining ink residue. If the stain persists, you can repeat the process or try using a commercial ink remover. Just be sure to follow the instructions on the product label and test it on a small, inconspicuous area of the garment first. Moving on to sweat stains. 
Whether it's from a tough workout or a hot day, sweat stains are inevitable. But fear not, because a mixture of vinegar and water can work wonders. Simply soak the stained area in the mixture for a few minutes before washing. Sweat stains are not only unsightly, but they can also be stubborn to remove, especially if they've been allowed to set into the fabric. To effectively treat sweat stains, it's important to use a solution that can break down the proteins in the sweat. Start by mixing equal parts white vinegar and water in a bowl or spray bottle. Then, soak the stained area in the mixture, making sure it's fully submerged. Allow the garment to sit for at least 30 minutes to allow the vinegar solution to penetrate the fabric and break down the sweat stains. After the allotted time has passed, gently scrub the stained area with a soft bristled brush or sponge to help lift the sweat stains from the fabric. Once you've finished scrubbing, rinse the garment under cold water to remove any remaining vinegar solution. If the sweat stains are particularly stubborn, you can add a small amount of laundry detergent to the vinegar solution to boost its cleaning power. Simply mix the detergent into the solution before soaking the garment. Before we carry on, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to The Big Sweep. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below about your favorite stain removal tips. You know we love to hear from you. Grass stains are pretty common in the summer, and they can be pretty stubborn sometimes. The best method to remove those pesky bright green streaks from your clothes is probably in your pantry. Yup, it's white vinegar. Mix one part vinegar with one part water in a spray bottle. Spray the stain with enough of the mixture to saturate. Allow it to sit for 30 minutes, then rub the stain while rinsing under cold water. Sprinkle the stained area with a bit of laundry detergent, then scrub it in and let sit for 30 minutes. Scrub the stain while rinsing under cold water. If the stain persists, treat with laundry detergent again and allow to sit for 30 minutes before scrubbing and rinsing. When the grass stain is finally gone, launder the garment as usual. And now let's talk about wine stains. Whether it's from a celebratory toast or a dinner mishap, wine stains can be a real headache. But don't worry, because a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and dish soap can come to the rescue. Simply dab the stain with the mixture, then wash as usual. Wine stains are notorious for their deep color and ability to quickly set into fabrics. Therefore, it's important to act fast and treat the stain as soon as possible. Start by blotting the stain with a clean cloth or paper towel to absorb as much of the wine as possible. Avoid rubbing the stain as this can cause it to spread. Once you've blotted away excess wine, it's time to treat the stain with your homemade cleaning solution. Mix equal parts, hydrogen peroxide and dish soap in a small bowl or container. Then, using a clean cloth or sponge, dab the mixture onto the stained area, working from the outside in. Make sure to cover it completely. Allow the mixture to sit on the stain for at least 15 minutes to penetrate the fabric and break down the wine. If the stain is particularly stubborn, you can gently scrub the area with a soft bristled brush or sponge to help loosen the stain. After the allotted time has passed, rinse the garment under cold water to remove any remaining cleaning solution. If the stain still persists, you can repeat the process or try using a commercial wine stain remover. Just be sure to follow the instructions on the product label and test it on a small, inconspicuous area of the garment first. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next episode.